Hello everybody and welcome to Redland Library's Storytime Online. My name is Megan and today I would like to share some of my favourite stories with you. Are you ready to join in with me? Can you all get your waving hands ready so we can sing our hello song? And it goes, hello everybody, hello everyone. Hello everybody, it's time to have some fun. Very nice. Can we sing that one again? Hello everybody, hello everyone. Hello everybody, it's time to have some fun. Very good, and I hope you are ready to have some fun with me today. First up, I have a story here and it's called Wombat Stew. Do you know this story? This is one of my favourite stories. Wombat Stew by Marcia K. Vaughan. One day on the banks of a billabong, a very clever dingo caught a wombat and decided to make wombat stew. Wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Platypus came ambling up the bank. Good day, Dingo, he said, snapping his bill. What is all that water for? I'm brewing up a gooey, chewy stew with that fat wombat, replied Dingo, with a toothy grin. If you ask me, said Platypus, the best thing for a gooey stew is mud. Big blobs of billabong mud. Blobs of mud, Dingo laughed. What a good idea. Rightio, in they go. So Platypus scooped up big blobs of mud with his tail and tipped them into the billy can. Around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. Waltzing out from the shades of the iron bark caught came Inu. She arched her graceful neck over the brew. Ho, oh, ho, Dingo, she fluttered. What have we here? Gooey, chewy, wombat stew, boasted Dingo. If only it were a bit more chewy, she sighed. But don't worry, a few feathers will set it right. Feathers, Dingo smiled. That would be chewy. Rightio, in they go. So into the gooey brew, Inu dropped her finest feathers. Around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, Crunchy munchy for my lunchy, wombat stew. Old blue tongue lizard came sliding off his sun-soaked stone. Silly Dingo, he hissed. There are no flies in this stew. Can't be wombat stew without crunchy flies in it. And he stuck out his bright blue tongue. There's a lot to be said for flies, replied Dingo, rubbing his paws together. Rightio, in they go. So Lizard snapped 100 flies from the air with his long tongue and flipped them into the gooey, chewy stew. Around and around and around the bubbling billy, Dingo danced and sang, Wombat stew, wombat stew, crunchy munchy for my lunchy wombat stew. Up through the red dust popped Echidna. Wait a bit, not so fast he bristled, shaking the red dust from his quills. Now I've been listening to all this advice and take it from me for a munchy stew 
You need slugs and bugs and creepy crawlies. Dingo wagged his tail. Why, I should have thought of that. Radio, in they go. So Echidna dug up all sorts of creepy crawlies and dropped them into the gooey, chewy, crunchy stew. The very clever Dingo stirred and stirred all the while singing, Wombat stew, wombat stew, Hot and spicy, oh so nicey, wombat stew. Just then, the sleepy eye koala climbed down the scribbly gum tree. Look here, he yawned. Any bush cook knows you can't make a spicy stew without gum nuts. Leave it to a koala to think of gum nuts. Dingo laughed and licked his whiskers. righty -o. in they go and into the gooey, chewy, crunchy, munchy stew, Koala shook lots and lots of gum nuts. Aha, cried Dingo. Now my stew is missing only one thing. What's that? asked the animals. That fat wombat. Wait, stop! Hang on, Dingo. You can't put that wombat into the stew yet. Why not? You haven't tasted it. Rightio, I'll taste it. And that very clever dingo bent over the billy and took a great big slurp of stew. Oh, I'm poisoned, he howled, and you've all tricked me. And he dashed away deep into the bush, never to sing again. Wombat stew. Wombat stew, gooey, brewy, yummy, chewy, wombat stew. And that's the end of wombat stew. Okay, I think it might be time to sing some songs. This song that I'm going to sing first is about a kookaburra. And it goes, kookaburra sit. In the old gum tree, Merry, Merry King of the Bush is he. Laugh, Kookaburra, laugh, Kookaburra, gay your life must be. Do you know that song? Shall we sing that one again? Kookaburra sits in the old gum tree, Merry, Merry King of the Bush is he. Laugh. Kookaburra laugh, kookaburra gay, your life must be. Very nice. Okay, I think it might be time to stand up for our next song. Can you give your body a great big shake? Let's get all the jiggles out. Ooh, okay, our next song is You're Happy and You Know It. And what do you need to do if you're happy and you know it? You clap your hands and then we're going to Mix it up a little bit and sing, if you're a galah and you know it, flap your wings, flap, flap. And then if you're a goanna and you know it, stick out your tongue. <laughs> How long was your tongue? And if you're a koala and you know it, go to sleep. Do you think we can do that together? Put that all together into one song? So we might start off by singing, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are you ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Are we ready for the next bit? If you're a galah and you know it, flap your wings. Flap, flap. If you're a galah and you know it, flap your wings. If you're a galah and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're a galah and you know it, flap your wings. Flap, flap. What was next? Goanna. If you're a goanna and you know it, stick out your tongue. If you're a goanna and you know it, stick out your tongue. If you're a goanna and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're a goanna and you know it, stick out your tongue. Was your tongue as long as a goanna's tongue? I don't think so. 
Okay, what was our last one? Koala. If you're a koala and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a koala and you know it, go to sleep. If you're a koala and you know it, then you really should just show it. If you're a koala and you know it, go to sleep. Oh, wake up! Because we need to read another story. Should we get comfortable? Can you all sit back down on your bottoms? And my next story is about koalas. And it's called, Koalas Eat Gum Leaves. Koalas Eat Gum Leaves by Laura and Philip Bunting. So many koalas. This is a koala. Koalas eat gum leaves. Nothing but gum leaves. All day, every day. So many gum leaves. Gum leaves for breakfast. Gum leaves for lunch. Gum leaves for dinner. With no exceptions. Not even on their birthdays. Most koalas don't seem to mind, but this one does. This koala has had enough. He won't eat another leaf, not another gumdrop. He's on the lookout for some tastier tucker. Hmm, I wonder what he might find. No, no, woo, hello. Whoosh, down he goes. <gasps> Buy gum, that's good. Mm, who likes ice cream? He runs, he jumps, he dances, he cartwheels, he goes back for more. Now this koala eats ice cream, nothing but ice cream. All day, every day, so many ice creams. Can you see your favourite ice cream there? Ice cream for breakfast, ice cream for lunch, ice cream for dinner, with no exceptions. Until one day, he'd had enough. He couldn't eat another cone, not one more scoop. It was time to go home. Oh, by gum, this is hard work. He's struggling to climb up the tree. Koalas don't eat ice cream. Koalas eat gum leaves, even this one. Most of the time. And that's the end of koalas eat gum leaves. Okay, before we go though, can we all get ready to sing our goodbye song? So can you get your waving hands ready? So we can sing goodbye everybody, goodbye everyone. Goodbye, everybody. We're glad you had some fun. And one more time. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye, everybody. We're glad you had some fun. Thank you, everybody, for joining me today. I hope you have had some fun with me. Please remember to talk, play, read and sing. See you.